Yeah, I mean, I think it's been the last few years, though, Andretti's been very, very strong with the clutch courses. Um, this year in particular seems to be another step. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's great for us. We love, we, I already love like street courses the most out of all the tracks I think that we do. Um, I think it's it's the toughest single lap that we put together all year is on a street course. Um, and so when you get a pole here, it's, it's very rewarding for any street course that we go to. And, I mean, obviously, there's been some moments where you've won pole and for whatever circumstance, throw anything in there. There's not been an opportunity to win on, on Sundays. I mean, what do you got to do to convert and break this? Because I know you know that it's been since 2000, uh, 2022. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that's the bad thing about getting pulls. You can only break even, right? You can't go further, <laughs> further up. But it's it's something that I want really bad. You know, it's, it's, it's been brutal to, to not have a win um, in a year and a half. Um, and we've had pace, and we've been doing the right things, you know. I think three second place finishes, a couple thirds, a bunch of top fives. We're putting ourselves in the positions that we have to to win. We just have to our way for, for one way or another. But, um, you know, I'm excited for tomorrow. It's good to have another teammate out there that we can work on a strategy and, and help each other out. Um, and, yeah, I think it should be a, a fun and exciting race for, for everybody. This race is giant windows, um, two-stopper, so a lot of strategy to come in play, which if you're starting up front, you don't want, but you know, it's how this race is. It's always exciting. So hopefully it's a, it's another exciting one and we can capitalize on the opportunities and, and have a win more. Patrick. Uh, you just mentioned that the whole team's going the right direction. Pace is more particularly luck. Maybe not there, but the pace is there. Is any of that attributable to going from four cars to three cars? Is there just one more focus? Um, I, I don't think it, it hurts. You know, I don't think it hurts moving down to three cars for us. I think, you know, having guys that can look at maybe two or three things rather than five or six um, in more detail is, is always better. Um, you know, I, I feel like, I don't think we were spread thin before, but I just feel like there's so many more options now on, on a whole bunch of things if we're doing shaker rig tests or, or straight line tests or sim days or actual testing, race weekends, there's just so many more people to, to help lessen the workload, um, which I think is is why we have been a little bit more competitive this year. More questions in person? If not, oh, Charles? Raise your hand again, Charles. Let me know. On the other side, there you go. Thanks. Well then, Carlton. Um, just thinking about the, uh, the difference between you know that last lap and you've got to nail it. I mean, you know it's just like you need to find, you know, just what is that mindset like when it comes to the crunch? So I never get to lap times because I don't want to know. Um, I don't want to, I don't really care about any of it because I'm not going to, like in my mind, I'm always driving as hard as I can in qualifying. So if someone says like, oh, you need a 10th, that's not going to make me drive harder. I'm already trying as hard as I can. Um, and so it's, it is tough. It is tough because you know how tight this field is and you know if you give up, even just, you know, six inches off the apex of one corner, that's gonna drop you at least one spot, most likely more. Um, and it's difficult to judge that when you're breaking from 200 miles per hour down to 60 miles per hour and 300 feet. Um, so it's a very difficult thing. Saturdays are, are some of the, the hardest days that, that we have um, in this sport, just because you need to be so perfect when everybody's on their A game like they are in qualifying. It's, it's very difficult to better uh, some of it. When you've topped every session this weekend, how do you sleep tonight? Small sense. It's a little bit easier, yeah. But but like I said, like this race is crazy, you know. With the strategy and big window indie car races like that tend to be crazy, um, and you know there's a whole bunch of different ways to win this race. Obviously, it's still a big advantage starting up front, and that should help us. But you can never take anything for granted in, in indie car racing. It doesn't really matter where you start, you know. So. We've got fast race cars, that's the biggest thing. We check that box and, and everything else we just need to uh, hope comes our way. Time for uh, one off of Zoom. Bruce Martin again, NBC Sports and Forbes. Go ahead, Bruce. Well, now you're starting to get a sense of when to use the uh, hybrid assist. And does it even come into play on the street courts? Yeah, it definitely will. Um, it's going to be very... It, for me, it's 
like we've done so much off season testing and, and so much simulator work now, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's not a complex thing in the car to understand and, and how to get the most out of it because you're basically using it very similar to how you would use push to pass. Um, but you know, there is some stuff that, that maybe you can manip manipulate balance with it, and, and maybe that takes a little bit more time to get used to. But it's nothing major, and it's not going to send a team to the front if they know that uh, sort of stuff or can take advantage of it. Um, so I think it's, it's for the racing tomorrow, I think it'll be similar to how you use it at Mid Ohio, right? Like you're going to use it on the long straights and whatnot, and that won't change. That's how everyone's been doing it. Um, but I'm fairly positive that the racing is going to be a lot better than in Ohio with it, um, just because of how this track races is, is a lot better. And are you sensing that better fortune is coming your way? Because it has to eventually. I hope so. Um, <coughs> you know, we just get, like I said, like we're, we're putting ourselves in the right opportunities week in, week out, and, and we have strong race cars pretty much everywhere that we've gone this year. So we've done a lot of the things right. It just hasn't fallen our way. So, um, you know, if we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to be we'll be just fine. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Bruce. We'll wrap it up in person. Lucille, go ahead. Hi, Colton. I have a question. Um, I understand IndyCar opened up so that we can use our, our uh, regenerating and, and deployment in pit lane. How is it going to be an advantage to you? I don't think it will change much. Um, you know, I, I think um, the main reason of doing that was just to avoid problems like had at Iowa, um, and doing that, it gets rid of it. And I think from the team's point of view, there is no reason to have it off anyways in pit lane, so might as well just keep it on the whole time and avoid those problems entirely. And um, luckily, you know, IndyCar took the feedback well, and, and they agreed with us, and so the change came quickly. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Congratulations. Have a great night. See you back here uh, tomorrow. By the way, morning warm-up begins at